Tribes people, I just found out that North Atlantic salmon is high in contaminants and damn near as bad as tilapia because it's farm raised. That is bad news, man. Damn. Swinging and banging with the University of Gratitude podcast, a daily show of entertainment, education, and inspiration for anybody dealing with abandonment, chronic illness, or the physical limitations. Grab your gratitude journal and let's put these stories together so we have more positive thoughts. Give me something to celebrate and recharge my shit, Professor Kendrick. It is December 22nd, a Friday Eve before Christmas. I like and how I he know says y'all Friday sick of Eve. Christmas shopping. It's cute. I know y'all are sick of gift giving, looking Bro, for gifts, everything kid, else. I'm but over it is it National too. Cookie Exchange Day. Woo! This is how you win. Get with your relationship partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever you got going on. Or get with the kids. You can go to the store and get those little inexpensive cookie tins with all those inexpensive cookies in it. And since it is cookie exchange day, y'all can make and bake cookies for each other and put it in the tins. I know it's a good idea. That'll give something for the kids to do. That'll give something for the husband or the girlfriend to do, whatever you want to call it. But it's an inexpensive idea. It's a special celebration. National Cookie Exchange Day is real. Take that shit to the bank, man. Work it. Yo, real talk. What made you stop scrolling through your phone today? Yo, real talk. In the world of bullshit, this one is high on my damn personal meter. So the story is that two couples, they are stepsisters, and they get married. They promise each other, the dudes end up becoming best friends. And they promise each other when we have sons, dog, I'm going to name my kid after you. Same vice versa. Goes on, one couple has a son, names it after the other. And then a couple of years later, the other guy ends up cheating on his wife. So they end up getting a damn near divorce. Whenever she finally finds a new mate, and whenever she gets pregnant and the son is coming... She wants to keep the promise about naming her son after this cat who cheated on her damn sister. Nope. I couldn't do it, dog. That's some crazy ass bullshit. Hell no, I couldn't do it. (laughs) Some Call Me Tree 79 is one of my favorite Instagram accounts to follow. She has multiple sclerosis, just like me, but reading her memes and what she posts is like reading a damn comedy stand up. Gratitude stories. So here we go. Number one, <clears throat> me. We had a work party today, a virtual work party. And it was cool being seeing the colleagues hanging out. It was better playing the Kahoot games with the colleagues, seeing what their answers were. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, Kahoot could still get things crunk on, on the virtual setting. And Telling the stories with each other, of course. Saw saw a couple of kids. But the best part is that the job gave us all $25 DoorDash cards. I used mine to restock on my Red Bulls. I used mine to restock on my Takis. Got a big old family bag of Takis. And I'm grateful because since I'm already at 35 hours this week and it's just Thursday... This is how I am treating myself, spoiling myself. I'm going to handle up on my vices or two, keep going. I'll be wide awake at work because I got a fresh three cans of Red Bull and Takis. And no, I'm not going to eat all, I'm not going to drink all three cans in one day. Got to save some for the afternoons and the nighttime. I don't know what your illness is. I don't know what your disabilities are, but I do need to let you know I am proud as fuck of you for dealing with all this shit, keeping a job, trying to get to sleep right, trying to eat right, trying to stay good. I'm proud as hell of you. Gratitude story number two. 
the good news is that my social worker has approved me to have bath aids. They told me when I first got the Blue Cross Blue Shield and started sitting on my home health, hey, you don't qualify for bath aids. You're not, they told me a bunch of shit. But she has said today that I qualified and she's going to approve me to have bath aids. She feels like that would help me out a lot with, with my mental space and how I feel about myself, what I'm doing. I'm trying to tell her, man, I'm good to go with this type of shit. But either way, I am confused by all of this because I really don't see myself as being that bad. I don't I don't see myself as being that, that far off. No, I don't take, I'll leave that alone, but I don't see myself as being that far off. I'm not about to use any bad A benefits. I don't even know if, they don't even, I don't want some strange, I don't, no, I don't want no strange dude in there when I'm trying to take a shower. I don't want a strange woman in there while I'm, while I'm trying to take a shower. I'm not gonna use the benefit unless I'm in the hospital or I'm absolutely bed bound. It does make me see myself as the multiple sclerosis warrior that y'all see all the meme stuff about. Even more, it makes me see myself as the multiple sclerosis outlaw. That was my original nickname, my original moniker, man. The multiple sclerosis outlaw. That was the good old days. Had a podcast with a few other people with MS. Used to meet up with people with MS all the damn me time. And that shit just, that, that was my name on Instagram. Multiple sclerosis outlaw because I wasn't going to do a damn thing that people told me. That's what I'm grateful for. Because the fact that this social worker has approved me for bath aids, I didn't even ask for bath aids, but that makes me think of myself as the multiple sclerosis outlaw, wakes up, invigorates me. That changes my whole energy. I miss this name. I miss this energy. And I'm going to rock with this shit as long as I can today. Replacing an employee that makes $30,000 will cost you upwards of $15,000 in hiring fees, scheduling changes, and wage replacement. We can save you money by allowing me to start an online private gratitude journal for your workplace. Contact me at KendrickAvant.com. That's gratitude today. So I fixed my YouTube music on my desk top computer hadn't worked in over a week and it wouldn't play on this desktop at all i could not jam my favorite playlist there's a difference between youtube music and just going to youtube if you don't understand there is a definite difference you got your playlist all on the let me leave that alone because i didn't write that part I couldn't jam my favorite playlist to set up my work at home atmosphere, to set up my moods at home. Couldn't do any of that. The problem was clearing the cash and cookies. Shout out to the job because if you work from home, you know you are always clearing some damn cash and cookies. Your stuff slows down, it scares you, you're on the phone with people, you don't know why the screen's not advancing, and you gotta clear that cash and cookies. So shout out to the work, because that's why I learned how to do it. Now, I can, fa I can play my favorite playlist, which is called Endless Sundays. It is a, um, damn, uh, Endless Sundays forgot, has King. no words. It's one of those, uh, he damn I can't sure think did. of the word right now. I know chill it's a playlist. Hop. It's called it right Chill now. Hop. But Endless Sunday will close out the week. And is going to keep me wide awake when I'm on these phones. It is also the music I play when I'm editing the, the when I'm editing all the University of Gratitude episodes that y'all jamming with right now. That's how you do it. I got three easy stories for y'all. Not everything will always be exciting and funny and whatever you want to call it, dog. But you still gotta write your shit down. You still got to write your stuff down. Because all of this is about the process. It's about starting up the activity. It's about making this a normal response to the bullshit you got going on. Whether you're in a retirement home, whether you are rocking with assisted living, whether you are dealing with a hospice unit, whether you just have these physical limitations, whether seen or unseen, the abandonment issues, you can get over, you can manage all these thoughts. By writing the stories down. Your stories can be about anything you want. I'm telling y'all stories today about work parties and 
social worker visits, and I'm telling you all about YouTube music on my damn big computer. This is all about just writing this stuff down. Because as long as you're writing this stuff down, you can't think about what you used to do. You can't think about all the bills that are due. You can't think about who may leave you or if you're going to shit on yourself. Any of that. You will just have your mind on the stuff you are grateful for and writing the story up. Get into the habit of it. Y'all be grateful. Stay pretty. I salute you. I'm out. <laughs>